What's up guys? So today I'm going to be taking you through um, just how I edit a video. Um, I did a video for a club yesterday. I went yesterday. I have all the footage. So I'm going to bring that back. And I'm going to go through it with you guys and just show you guys how I like to edit my video clips, like promotional video clips. Like that. on my way to the campus. And today I've got a job of these video clips. So we're going over to Tarnwood. Um, it's one place not too far from London. Um, we're going to go look at some rocks. We're going to go geology of quarry so I mean hopefully it's going to be as interesting as a trip to a quarry camp. sunny before it is currently snowing um it definitely snowed a couple times i'm um, definitely not what i was expecting today but what can we do we're getting onto the coach soon anyway so we should be back in not too long I just realized that I changed my setup from the last video, which is very unfortunate timing for filming that video. Um, but I got a monitor arm, I put my monitor on the monitor arm, so that means I can now move it out a little bit. I can rotate it to portrait if I want to, if I need to do that. Um, and then my laptop's now here. There's a bit more space on the desk, so I can actually use the laptop and use the monitor on the desk at the same time. And then just above the laptop, there's a iPad stand. So sometimes I'll put my iPad there if my computer is docked, the stand is just behind there now. So sometimes I'll dock the computer behind there if I want to get a bit more desk space. Then I can either write on the iPad or I can have the iPad up on that stand and use universal control and almost just get like another screen um, off to the side of the monitor. So I've come here and I've got a lot of good clips, but what I found I don't have is any like establishing shots of the outside of the club or anything like that to kind of just ease you into the clip so you don't go straight into the club action. Um, so I only have a couple of shots, so I'm gonna have to make do with what I have. But obviously when you're making any sort of video, you wanna try and tell a story. Um, so in this case, obviously, they're doing a club event. The story is just like you walk into the club, you get into the club, everyone's having a good time. So you wanna try and convey that in your video. That's why you want establishing shots. You don't want to go straight into it. So I'm probably going to have to use this as my main establishing shot because I don't have anything else. I have a couple others here. Um, maybe I'll move that one to the second place. I've got a shot of the bar that I can put in there. But just a couple of things that can help people get a sense of place as to where they are um, in your video. You're not just dropping them straight into it. You always just want to do things to make things flow a bit easier for whoever is viewing this video. So for this video, it's just a short 30 second clip. Um, so I've got my two establishing shots here, but I don't want them to be a third of the video because the video isn't about the club, it's about the event. So I'm just gonna shorten these clips a little bit, um, get them down to under, way under 10 seconds worth of footage. So I can move that one in there. Then if you need to, you can always speed up footage as well. Um, sometimes that works, or you can swap out a video. Come here, and I prefer the other one. So obviously you just mix and match, see what you like the best, see what fits your vision the best. I'm gonna come here. Video's just a bit too long, so I'm gonna make it 150% speed, just to speed it up a little bit, make the clip a bit short, so what's that? That's eight seconds of establishing shots now. 
that should be enough just to give people an idea of what's going on, where they are and the venue that they're using. Now that you've got your establishing shots in there, you want to find some clips of people having a good time. Use your project view over here or your bin over here. You can scroll through the clips and you can find a clip that just shows people, you know, dancing. You don't really see too much of what's going on. So for example, I'm going to use this clip here for the first one. And as you can see, obviously that clip is way too long because let me set a marker at 30 seconds so we know how long we want this to be. So 30 seconds, that's how long I want the clip to be. So see that clip is too long. So what I need to do now is just come in and try and find the part of the clip that I want to use. Let's see, I think I like this first little bit. That's what I do. Come in here. Mark my in point. Mark my out point of that clip. And then I can now come in and trim this clip to those points. And now I have my short clip from the long clip, which I can, oops. I can then move over here. And then this will transition into that. Of course, we can do our transitions later on and make everything look nice and smooth. Um, but of course, you can't just use one clip. You've got to use more than one clip. So that's where you know, I want to come in and just find another clip. Same thing. Look through it, find the bit that you want to add. Yeah, I like this last bit. Just a small panning shot. You can see people having a good time. Um, I guess we want to take it from about there. And this one, I think we can just go to the end on this one. Yeah, we can just go to the end on this one. So we are going to come here. We're going to mark our clip. We are going to shorten it. And we are going to come here. Then of course this marker, I don't need this marker anymore. I can come and I can clear that marker. I'll be honest, the club wasn't the most full. Um, so there aren't that many people here. There's a lot of the same people in a lot of the shots. But obviously people don't need to know that. The clip, the video for the promo shoot clip, is meant to show the light, the club was full. Um, that's why I used my 85 instead of the 24 to 105. I got in a little bit closer, just so you couldn't really see that there were some empty spaces over here. And of course, we're gonna add transitions to all of these later on. Um, so everything's gonna just smoothly transition from one shot to the other. So what we have here now is my clip. I've got 24 seconds of establishing shots and just some shots of some people um, and the video I want to be 30 seconds so I've got six seconds left but I know that I need to add a graphic at the end just like a promotional short graphic so I'm going to come into the essential graphics tab in Premiere Pro and just find something that I like or find something that maybe I've used before um, so there was one that I used before for another video that I did for them and you want to have some sort of consistency. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and find that clip that I used for them before, if I can find it. But once this is loaded in, I can see that my graphic is too long. So what I can do is I can just trim the end just a little bit. The video doesn't have to be exactly 30 seconds, so I can just trim the end just a little bit and make it, what's that, 33 seconds that's still fine, that's still short enough to post on social media. Um, so I've got that now. But I don't know if you can see, but the graphic is too small. It's a 1080p graphic on a 4K timeline. So all I need to do for that is come into my effects control, go to scale, turn it from 100 to 200. And now the graphic fills the 4K timeline um, and looks correct. For the graphic, I'm going to use one of the pictures from the event. Um, so I just come to my folder, go to the date. Organization is very important. Being able to just quickly go and find what you need to find. Okay. So let me open up this folder, make it a bit bigger, go into gallery view just so I can see the pictures. And I just want to find one picture, ideally a landscape picture, because that what that's what works the best with this format. This one over here. So 
in the essential graphics tab there's a media replacement and that is where you now add your file drag and drop my file into there and now my picture's here then you also see it down here but then in my graphic if I now come to the graphic there we go the picture is in the background it's the background of the graphic um, and that's what you want you just want to add add something to it make it rather than using a generic picture reusing a picture from this particular event and not a previous event and then I can come back and I can change the titles and make sure everything reads how it's meant to read in a second because in a club there are a lot of bright lights and then dark shadows I shot all of my clips in log in C log so if you come here you see how everything's quite grey it's quite washed out that's just to get you some more detail in both the shadows and the highlights when you're filming but obviously I can't send out a clip like this in this adjustment layer there's a rec 709 like just to make the clips look like normal clips basically um, and of course that works but I want to add a little bit of something else just to make the clips look a bit more stylized a little bit more cinematic if you will um, so I come in here just adjust the shadow and the highlight tint slightly um, see what we get but the thing is you might not want the same adjustments for every single clip so what you do you come in you press C for clip and you clip this adjustment layer on top onto the same length as each of the clips so each clips each clip gets its own adjustment layer delete the rest so I now come in here and for this clip let's say I want more shadows in this clip I can now come in bring the shadows off obviously that's not quite what I want and then for this scene with the photo booth I'm quite happy with how this looks um, so I'm not going to touch that too much these clips over here normally I don't need to add too much to them apart from what I've added before which is the small tweaks to the hue of the shadow and the highlights um, that should be enough um, okay then, and then once I'm done with that, I will come back out of my color panel and I will go back into my editing panel. This is just spread things out a little bit, um, give me a bit more space to work with. Um, so now I come here, and the next thing that I want to do is look at my transitions. So what I need to do is I need to come here, I need to get my effects, effects, oh effects, effects tab, go to my transitions, and I've got just the transitions that I use the most laid out here and for you for everything you're gonna do there might be different transitions that you want to use so for this one I might want to use a push transition between these two clips let's just see what that looks like that could work maybe shorten that a little bit and sometimes you try a transition, you don't really like how it looks. You can always come in and get rid of that transition. Let's just try your standard cross dissolve. That looks alright, but it's a bit long. Shorten that. There we go. That works for that. And then to now go into this, um, I'm going to want a whip. And now I'm just realizing what I should have done is found some music to go behind these clips because um, you can't do a promotional clip without music. And I'm going to need to time the clips to a song. So at the moment, I have not done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find a song that I think works with this clip, the kind of promotion I'm trying to do. Then I'll time all the clips to that song just to make everything flow a little bit better. Okay, so I found the song that I'm gonna use. It's On Deck by Abracadabra. I can come in here and just add that to my project and then now come to Premiere Pro and add that to my timeline. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go through, listen to the song and match the clips up to the song and make everything um, in sync. Okay, so 
now that I've timed all my clips to the music, I can bring my graphic back um, over here. And what I can, let me just get the dock out of the way. Okay, what I can now do is I can get all the text on the graphic to say the right things. Um, and to be honest, once that's done, that's basically the whole video done and edited. So now I'm just rendering the footage just so I can view it properly without um, it slowing down when it gets to any particular part. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty sure the video is basically done now. Um, I did all the photos a couple of days ago. So now I can get this out to them um, and they can get their footage out, use it to promote the next event, use it to promote how well this event went.